Hey guys, welcome back to our water cooler on our little corner of the internet. It's the Movie Minute. I'm Mike Sorg here in the studios here in Pittsburgh, PA, and Mayhem Studios with me, as always, uh, across town is Malengo at Rambling Mango. It's Rambling Mango, right? I had to put your thing in. I forget if you had a the in the name. Uh, no, for Twitter, it's just Rambling Mango. Yes. That's all Twitter would allow me. It's all. It's okay. I think we have Wrestling Mayhem show, like, with an O. No <laughs> and it's always like, why didn't you fix that? I'm like, because Twitter won't let me. What do you want me to do? <laughs> so Yeah, Twitter, Twitter doesn't like long stuff. So wait, well, so what's going on in the movies? I've seen some movies, but I want to know uh, what, you, what you've seen, what's happening out there. How did the movies do this weekend? Yeah, let's run down the, uh, the lineup of what movies did. It uh, looks like Ender Game was the big one this week. Mm-hmm. That's the one that stole the show. Which was, uh, I saw that one before early release. I was pleasantly surprised. Good. Actually, I don't think it was a matter of being pleasantly surprised. I was very excited about this one. Uh, So, not reading the books, of course. I went to see it with somebody who did read the books. Which was a very interesting uh, post-talk. Basically, if you read the books, you might be disappointed. So don't read the books before you see this movie. But isn't that always the way? I mean, we just it just doesn't happen. I listened to a thing about Daredevil and how they screwed up the movie so bad. And they're like, well, they're trying to take so much stuff from the books and they just don't allow it to happen. I think that nobody except for Marvel and, and, and uh, who is it, uh, uh, Peter Jackson knows how to adapt a book to the, to, to the screen these days. Yeah, I mean, that's very possible. But, um, but either way, I would say... Uh, I don't know what I would say for this one because because I heard somebody's post talk about it. I don't know. I would say if you're in the sci-fi and you want to pay a full price, go go check this out. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a fun big movie, right? Is it is this the kind of movie that I want to go with the sound system and the big screen? Yes, I saw it on IMAX and it is freaking phenomenal. I gotta be honest. Other than the Carnegie Science Center, I have not seen an IMAX film, and that's an OmniMax, which is even a little weirder. Yeah, I I think I saw Batman, the first one, mm-hmm. at the Science Center, and I was pretty overwhelmed by the roundness. I think IMAX and OmniMax are very two different experiences. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, but yeah, like uh, the quick rundown, I mean, Ender's Game only pulled in $27 million, so by all the states, people might say that's not great for a high-budget uh, 3D movie like that, um, but... Compared to Jackass with twenty million, I don't know. I, I think that's a good turnout. So, yeah, go see it. Jackass did come in at a whopping number two, like I said, with twenty million. I got about halfway through Jackass, and I laughed at parts that I did not think I would laugh at. I will say that the setups to some of these scenes are ridiculously long and very unscripted. So it's one of those things you just got to sit through. And you guys say, I mean that. I mean that, that's how many weeks in the top three. Uh, for Jackass, and something that had to have been a very, 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 very low budget, budget kind of film, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you could tell, like, even some of the setups were, like, so weird, where, like, Johnny Knoxville's character would go to, like, a strip club, and then they they play that whole scene out, and then they cut to the kid who was left at, like, the hotel room, and he just goes out in public, interacts, and that's another scene. So just imagine, like, the show with different scenes, and then just, how are we going to transition from point A to point B? <laughs> and sometimes they don't well, bother, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they would just go straight cut, and then you're like, wait, that was never resolved. Which led itself to humor because you know, like after all the sh- like after all the stuff went down, uh, you know, there's probably that uncomfortable like Johnny Knoxville saying, "Hey, look, sorry, this is for a movie." <laughs> <laughs> we need you to sign some paperwork. It's all it's all good. We'll pay for whatever we did here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I I don't know. I, I find that humorous because I did have a friend during college who reminded who reminds me of Johnny Knoxville, and I could just imagine being friends with this guy would be so stressful. Being friends with anybody in that crew would be extremely stressful. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah number three and number four i just kind of did like uh i just com- 
clumped them together because you got Las Vegas, which I still think is targeted to the older folks, and then you have the kids' movie Free Birds. So they were separated by by pennies. <laughs> I say pennies like millions, millions and millions of pennies, right? <laughs> so I mean, yeah, that's definitely what it is. It's it's interesting to see gravity still kind of close there, but you know they're they're slowly dropping. So if you have not seen Gravity yet or in 3D, which I'm told I have to go see in 3D, uh, it might not be there for much longer. I gotta tell you what, I feel like they timed this up perfectly because I, I, I just picked up uh, Call of Duty Ghost and the like second sequence you get into is like, yeah. oh my god, I'm in gravity, but it's even worse. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen Gravity, go check it out. Um, if, you, if, you, if you're able to see it in 3D on IMAX, I, I hear that that is well worth the money spent. Uh, but yeah, that's the roundup. So, uh, Mike, how about we, we change this up? What movies have you seen? I saw some movies in the way that I do. I, I try to check in on HBO and HBO Go and, uh, and, and see what, what you know, I, I like, yeah, I like when I see stuff. It's like, oh, hey, I remember that from the theater. Or somebody's uh, told me about it. Pitch Perfect I got to see finally. Really finally. enjoyed that. Yeah, finally, right? <laughs> uh, I, I've heard, so. I think, didn't you say some good stuff about it? Chachi's purchased it on on like xbox or something to watch um yeah it, it's 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 it was it was pretty cool i mean it really is it plays like a glee episode um a little 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 more watch it, it is really glee in glee in high school in, in the long run i think um, yeah it's like you know, it's more like glee in in college we were getting a kick out of the uh the announcers elizabeth banks and I, i'm not sure who the other guy is there um but like you were just like sitting there like they just let these two go uh, uh you can tell like like all this stuff was just like insane ad lib um yeah definitely yeah yeah the like the, the the minstrel cycles that was that was pretty good um but other than that other, other than that just one of those uh uh yeah it was a really good flick the other thing i saw and i'm still trying to wrap my head around is cloud atlas um i think i know what happened there <laughs> I really didn't didn't uh, expect to get a resolution at the end of this thing. Uh, uh, remember is this it one. like getting your cherry pop, but not really sure if if that's what happened? <laughs> that's an interesting way to put that. Um, we're like, <laughs> yet probably a really good metaphor if you paid money for this movie. Um, yeah, like I'm like, oh, it's a Wachowski, so like, okay, they're going to do something interesting here. Like, I love the when they, they they mess with my mind on the Matrix, so, you know, the first time around. And I'm like, okay, yeah. they're going to do something cool with this, right? And I'm just like, well, that happened. I feel like I watched five movies at the same time. I'm not entirely sure um, which one is Tom Hanks and which one's Halle Berry and some of the other scenarios. Um, but it, it really does. Like I, I was saying, I think it's it's one of those things that I don't think it came off well. It almost needs more explanation. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, play when movies like tell you the entire plot. No, you need to tell me the entire plot because watching it didn't uh, help too much. You know, I mean, for each thing, and I liked how like certain time frames kind of linked together, uh, but it didn't seem like everything overarchingly linked together, other than this kind of aloof sense that these are the same souls. You know, which you kind of had going into it, so it's like, okay, all right. Um, I don't know. It was, it was an interesting movie. I can't really recommend it, though. Yeah, I don't. I mean, like I said, I got about halfway through and I lost interest. I got distracted by something else, and I think that I saw it on Netflix, either in DVD. So it was one of those that I just returned it. I was like, yeah, I can't finish this. <laughs> you just throw so, your hands up and throw it in a mailbox, right? Yeah, it's like I've had it for too long. Once, once my Netflix uh, DVDs become coasters, that's when I know it's time. <laughs> when I set a drink on my on my DVD, <laughs> I need to send it back. <laughs> it's time to send this back. Uh, yeah. So uh, besides, yeah, besides Ender Game, which I saw for free, uh, I didn't really pay any money to go see anything in theaters. <laughs> that's probably the best one. Because <laughs> we're all a, and, yeah, and and half of Jackass that I was able to see, but. You want to move to movie news? Let's yeah, movie what's news. going on in the news, sir? 
So there are a couple things that were going on. Uh, the first one was the Max Landis, uh, the guy that write who wrote Chronicles, the screenwriter. Okay. Uh, he hasn't been signed on for the second movie. And um, it's kind of interesting because he had a whole origin story behind the source of like where these powers actually come from. Apparently in the first movie, I didn't actually uh, register this, but I, it's probably been some time. That's probably why. But in the first movie, uh, the three characters, we, we see that they get their powers when they submerge on the ground with this alien ship and this alien world that surrounds them. But we don't really know where that alien world, where that comes from or anything else. And then it just kind of ends, you know, they kind of come out and, and hey, it, now, we, now we're evolving. And I recall this movie being more of a Cloverfield found footage kind of uh, situation. So, I mean, those, things, those, those kinds of movies kind of lend themselves to not really explaining everything, right? Yeah, I mean, for the most part, that's usually how they are. But I think it's I think it's odd that they wouldn't that they would take off the screenwriter because I mean, it's always good to see what somebody else's maybe adaptation to a story like this could be. I mean, I think it was a great concept, but it's just weird that you know the screenwriter had so much stuff that, like it, in this article, it states that you know he. He had it lined up. He had it lined up for a trilogy, which, if you think about the world of heroes and all of the comic book uh, movies that we have now, I mean, this could have this could have been a really nice trilogy with an original story. Which, sadly, we might. Yeah, we it, might it lose. definitely seems like the first step in a larger world, you know. Um, and and I think we've had a lot of this. I mean, there was there's a few of them, like Jumper was kind of an interesting one. Uh, we had the I Am Number Four. Do you remember that? It was actually a, yeah. based on a series of books, and I'd like to see them. You know, well, obviously they'd probably just follow along the books, but I'd like to see more of that world and see. Okay, he's four. There's, you know, they're, 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 you know, where does that go from there? Because it was obviously a, just a starting point. So. Yeah, which is odd because it definitely lends itself to an article that I read about we are able to get the movies that we have. Like Gravity was able to be made because of the success of something like avatar which yeah because of the success of something else we were able to get you know the evolution of movies so it, it definitely you know it, it begs the question maybe this was a movie that you know was created by the studios so that we might get avengers or something else down the line but i don't know. I, I, don't know. I, I, I would lean more towards the batmans and the x-men's over the years or what gave us avengers you know that yeah. success as you know hey let's give this a try and also gave marvel studios enough uh uh, uh bank to have say so to say this is what we're going to do and talk well, yeah. studios into it yeah i guess i would say if anything we probably got the first chronicles because of the X Men mm-hmm. movies, the originals, and now we probably have more in depth. I would say Avengers movies, but I, I don't know. It just seems like it was an original idea, so I don't know. It'll it'll be sad that I, I can't say it's sad that it's gone because we really don't know who the next screenwriter. Like we don't know who is next in line to pick this up. It, you know, J J Abrams for all. I I have a man crush on J.J. Abrams, so he can do no wrong. <laughs> but <laughs> until we see Star Wars, so <laughs> but I don't know. Well, it's it's up in the air. But I thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving on. So an interesting. You you realize in 2014, this will be the first time in uh, maybe something like 10, 10 years, maybe longer that we will be going without a Pixar movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it brought up the question of this year, there are 19 animated feature movies or films that are up for the Oscar race. Now I'm looking through them and it was kind of funny. Some of them I haven't even, obviously some of them I have not seen, Mm -hmm. but uh, when you start to see movies like planes and free birds competing next to, Stuff like Turbo, which was an original. We got Frozen, which we're yet to see. It begs a different... Like, I don't know if the Oscars... 
I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. It almost feels like, well, these were the movies that we had. We had a bunch of sequels. We didn't really have a lot of original stuff. We had the Smurfs 2, the Spickle Mo Me 2, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. If, on first glance, if I look at this, I'm going with the, the Crudes, and I'm calling it a Monsters University was interesting, but that was also technically a prequel, so a second movie. I don't know. This is interesting. Um, so so it just feels like they're throwing everything. I mean, it, it, there can't be a lack of of animated movies, right? I mean, there. I mean, there's plenty, but uh, but again, like one, I'm kind of surprised, like that this is how many that they submit, and I don't know much about the Oscars, um, but isn't it interesting? And, and all these are 3D animated, right? Yeah, these like, are all 3D animated. There's no 2D animated. anymore. So we're we're to that point where they're just pumping out a lot of stuff, and unfortunately, I, I think what you get is you know in the case of planes, you know, um, and, and some of these other ones, uh, now everybody's doing an animated movie, animated movie, and now three D animated movie, and just because it used to be when the days of Pixar, it took a really good movie to make it to the screen because they had to go through so much. And again, we talked about kind of movies begetting other kinds of movies. Um, yeah, Toy Story begot all of this. Really, yeah, and it's just kind of sad because in in the year, I mean, like uh, Monsters University, although it was a prequel, was it was nicely done. A lot of people did not think it was up to the Pixar quality, but I mean, it had the jokes, it had the quality there, um, it had the story. It might not have been as compelling as something like Finding Nemo, but you know, you'd already had these characters, so you, you were some of where did these characters come from? Where did they evolve from? So when I look at a list, like Turbo Turbo was nice to watch, but it wasn't really a groundbreaking like movie. And I don't know, I haven't seen I haven't seen Free Birds, I haven't seen uh Frozen hasn't been released yet. But once you once I see movies like Epi- or like planes on this list and sequels like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and Despicable Me, it almost seems like exactly what you said. Companies are able to produce these movies uh, with more speed, pump them out, and now we have a pool where it might not necessarily be quality. Like I don't, I really don't know. I mean, if the winner truly is based on all of the qualifications that I guess are need to be submitted to win an Oscar, that'll be great. But I don't know. I, I guess I guess Frozen will be an interesting one to see. But as for right now, the the crudes were that's the one I'm going with. Uh, yeah, are we and are we also at a list. point where they were kind of plateau, plateauing with uh, animated flicks like this, um, where it you know again like you you say you know these none of these were really groundbreaking. It was like well what what more needs to happen for it to be a groundbreaking you know uh, animation film. You know, um, so I, I think I think the the playing field's gotten leveled up. There's 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 everybody's doing it, uh, and all the good ideas maybe you know for the time being are are going to be done for a while. You know, we're at that point where why is there another action movie? Why is there another thing based on a book like we do with you know the the general movies? Um, maybe that's yeah. the point we're at with this. You know, one thing I do like to see is out of all these animated films, um, I don't know about books, but there's not a lot of them based on prior properties. Like there's a couple, and most of them are from. Well, we got Disney, Despicable Me Two, Cloudy. Um, so I see like four just ringing through this real quick. Um, so there's a lot of original stuff developing there, and I think that's really good to see. Yeah, I think that's definitely good to see. It's. I think it'll just be a question of original. Like I said, like the Crudes, I was phenomenal. The other thing could also be that that movie came out so early in the year that now at the end, when we're talking about Oscars, a lot of that stuff is probably forgotten. So that's true. Anyway. All right. The last story that I was going to talk about was the, uh, Sony pictures announcing amazing spider, spider man fans program. I thought this was pretty interesting because a lot of people have been disappointed with Spider-Man 2 or with the new 
remake of Spider-Man. Okay. So it seems like Sony's <laughs> Sony is putting out a loyalty and sweepstakes program for the fans tied to the summer release. And I think it's just, just like a last ditch effort to say we know we've messed up. We're please come see this movie. Okay, so what kind of loyalty program? Hold on, I'm pulling up the site here. So is this like a a? No, oh, it's not really a social. Step one: join by choosing your social network. Step two: check your email for official content. Step three: step three share it. No, this is just a marketing thing. Um, you very will earn points. You can of, earn badges for milestones reached for for talking about the movie. So. Uh, they're gonna. This is their way to raise. I think. I think they all do this from time to time. So they're really. Uh, they're gonna send you these emails, and then they're going <laughs> to. And then they know what social network you're on, and they say, "Hey, share this trailer, or share this blah blah blah, or share wow. this picture of Emma Stone." Um, you know, it's it's just another way for them to um, get people to 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 advertise for them um, without paying them. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it rubs me the wrong way. I think it's a really, I I think it's a really bad, uh, ham-fisted attempt at at taking advantage of social media. Well, Sony, the company that continues to amaze. Well, with that, Mike, uh, let's let's round this out. Let's come around the home stretch. All right. All right. So, movies coming out this weekend that people should definitely be interested in. Thor. I repeat, Thor. Thor. And and Thor. And Thor. And Thor. And maybe this, some more Thor. This one has had some early uh, previews. It's coming in at a whopping 76. With early releases, holding at a 76 is pretty good. It's not great, but I think I am still excited to see this. I, yes. you know, I was excited to see this last even, week. So. Additionally, even more excited, I, I learned that I believe it's the November 17th, whatever that week is. Um, edition of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will actually be a direct spinoff of Thor 2, as in it will be them dealing with the fallout of what happens in this movie. Nice. That So it's like, so get your get your butt in, up into a theater the first two weeks to give them record numbers because you're not, you're going to want to watch that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode and know what's going on. Um, so yeah, that's I think that's pretty cool, and that's a very comic book way to do it. Too. Hey, this major event happened, and we're going to have the fallout over here in, um, I don't know, Heroes for Hire or something for the big Avengers book. Uh, yep. Well, you were really enjoying that uh, Heroes for Hire, but maybe you want to go buy Avengers too, right? Because you know exactly what the heck they're talking about. Um, <laughs> it, it, that's what they're doing, right? It, it, it is a very Marvel-esque way to go about it, and very complete, and I love it. You know, I, we talked about last week, I'm a continuity nut. And and this is this is tremendous, and I love how they're building this out. And I mentioned to you before uh, this, uh, in a, they're, they're doing Marvel Week over on the Nerdist podcast. Uh, great interview with uh, the guy that plays Agent Coulson on there, and talking about them yeah. bringing them up and this other stuff. So, um, and I don't know who else they're bringing up this week uh, on that, but it should be a pretty good listen. So, um, I, oh, and have you heard this uh, this like talk of maybe having a Sif movie? No. Who's the the girl in? In Thor? Oh no, I didn't know that. That'd be weird. <laughs> there I was. I, don't know. I think it was just an idea being floated around. I think she's also interested in playing Wonder Woman. I think she'd make a good Wonder Woman, to be honest. Oh gosh, so we're gonna recast people? Sure, why not? Right? Oh, there we go. Hey, Ben Affleck did the crossover. He, he went from Daredevil to Batman. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, this is true. Um, Chris Evans went from from from. Uh, the human torch to Captain America. Nobody cares. Nobody minds. <laughs> nope. Uh, I don't really, I've heard mixed things about the book thief, but besides that, I mean, this seems like if you're in a movie league, man, Thor is the week to just suck up. Like you're, you're just going to kill a lot of stuff with that. That's basically the only movie that seems to really be opening up so this weekend. That's what is, worth. What is the book thief though? I think it's, I mean, I believe it's based off of a book, which oh, is geez. interesting. <laughs> but, but based on a beloved international uh, best-selling book, The Book Thief tells the story. Man, You know, I was I, another thing I watched, we re-watched uh, uh, Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible. 
And I didn't oh, realize yeah. I didn't realize uh, at the time when I like, probably the first two watchings of this. I love that movie. Uh, the bad guy is the guy that played uh, the main dude from uh, How I. Uh, no, yeah, how I met your brother. Um, girl with a dragon tattoo. Completely the same thing. Um, so uh, I, th- I thought it was pretty cool. Right <laughs> yeah, I mean that's. Yeah, this is. It, I've, I've read the more of the description. It's a World War Two, Germany movie. Because we need type another thing. happy World War Two movie, right? Uh, so great. It, even even Best Man Down, which is. Uh, which has uh, what's his uh, what's his name Justin Long and uh, Jess I, uh, I'm gonna mess up her name Wexler Wexler I mean that's a movie of, that looks like it's a good concept and it just got thrashed and uh, again of course you can't can't go too much on what Run Tomato ratings are but the critics hated this movie apparently this is a this looks like an interestingly um, like. Like Kevin Smith cast off movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems it. like a whole list of indie movies. Huh. But it's but, one of those Magnolia things. I mean, that, that I don't. I, can you think of a blockbuster from Magnolia Pictures? Let's be honest. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> I mean, this is the kind good of good point. Do. <laughs> Very good point. I mean, there, but there has to be. I mean, the, I, I, you know, I, I, I challenge you to check this out. Every week in the theaters, if you look at like the top ten movies, there has to be a chick flick. There has to be something for the teens to go to. There has to be something to take your kids go, to go to. So anybody that says, I want to go to a movie this weekend, there has to be something for them, right? And I think this is just one of those things that fills the void. So, yeah. it is what it is. All right, Mike. I'm going to go see what's on Netflix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that our new tagline to end the show now? <laughs> I want to go find out what's on Netflix. Okay. <laughs> Later. Actually, I have to get caught up. I'm behind on so many freaking television shows. So that might be my next project. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. So where can people uh, get at you to, to, to get your opinion on the movies or, or, or let you know their opinion on the movies? Yeah, hit me up on, uh, on Twitter at uh, Rambling Mango. I like to post movie trailers and random news that I find interesting throughout the week. And if you have a question or something, you could hit me up. Also, uh, anybody watching the show, I might have free passes to Delivery Man tomorrow. Which would be Wednesday. Wednesday in Trenton. Which is so if you're in the if you're in the Pittsburgh area and you want to make that drive, uh, hit me up on twitter first person to hit me up i'm sending them out there you go hit them up get those i'm at sorgatron at for sorgatron media.com you can check us out here we do this live every tuesday around about 5 30 p.m or so uh at live.sorgatronmedia.com and uh we'll see you guys next week cool see you on netflix <laughs>